hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we're gonna try to model a mushroom and as you can see on my screen i've you know put this lovely photo um and i just love the way um the lines are i'm gonna see how we can play with that easily um i just love the way it looks really um so I have opened my Rhino Pan. The first thing I want to do is change the name of my layer to Curves. And the first thing is we really want to draw out the outer shell of the mushroom. So I'm just going to click here on my control point curve and just really feel free with my lines. You know, not many points again, just to keep it. as easy as possible that seems fine i'm just going to increase this a little bit just to see how that goes and i'm going to create like a small circle so that the top is a little bit and so i'm going to draw a circle i'm going to have zero as my point so zero enter just draw a little circle here on the top and then I'm going to just take this up just a little bit so we have like some kind of balance from here to here. You really want to measure out how far your curve is going to be. Maybe I'll just take this down a bit so that the curve is from here to here. So I'm going to duplicate this quickly. I'm going to go over to the side and click on copy move at any point i'm going to click on ortho here so that it's just in a straight line next thing i'm going to do is bend these areas a little bit because as we can see the sides are not too equal so i'm just going to bend this a little bit so that when we look at it from here we see that all the edges aren't on the same plane and I'm just going to try if this can actually form into a surface so I'm going to go here to surface and say planar curves yeah no faces were made curve must be close and planar yeah because it's not planar and it's not on like a flat surface the curves wouldn't be made So I'm going to try to um, create a profile here. I'm going to start at this edge, see if I can come out a bit, and then I like that section. So bring it up until this point, maybe. Yeah. And we're just going to use this section to sweep around this entire path. So I'm going to go to sweep one rail. This is my rail and then this is my sweep shape. And we would say free form. Exactly, um, shape is. I mean, the profile is what we want, but I am going to see how I can tidy up this. So, I'm going to just create a circle so that I can trim these areas. And we're going to bring our circle back, uh, move this from the center back here zero. and then increase this a little bit so that we can use it to trim the edges so I'm going to click on this and this and I'm going to say trim I'm going to trim this side so we have like a proper circle on the top here I'm going to take a straight line 
actually just duplicate this first I'm gonna take a straight line through here and then we're going to trim the edges so that we have a planar surface going on here so we are now going to draw another circle on the top one that is flat so we're going to start again from zero and just make sure we do two so that we can right click to bring the command back i'm going to take this the two actually and just bring them up here the last one just a bit And so we're going to select, we're going to go to loft to see if this works. One, two, and then this edge here, which seems to work. To see how they are, and then loft. But I want to see how this is surface wise. So we're going to go to shaded. don't really like this edge so we're gonna undo and see if we can redo that so we're gonna go to loft again click on the same area where you want to loft enter and we'll see if we can do something more loose let's see tight Straight. I think the best is loose. So we're going to say OK. And we're just going to close this section here. So we're going to go to surface and oh, we're going to go to solid and close, cap the planar holes. So that's all covered now. But I still feel like this portion could be more curved so I'm just gonna undo that so I'm gonna pick this curve and copy because best we copy it from here for some reason And I think we've done it wrongly. I've done it wrongly. So we're going to click on this line and copy it from here. Reduce this line just a bit. And then bring it down really close. So that we have more of a curved edge i don't know i think we can even bring it lower so it just bevels just a little bit um maybe bring it just a little bit more closer to the to the center and what i'm going to do is i'm going to blend these edges so i'm going to turn this into a surface I'm going to blend these two edges here so blend surface click on this edge and this edge okay going to attempt to it seems the um, surfaces are broken the edges are broken So I'm going to go to surface revolve, I want to revolve this curve 
and then our axis will start from here and then here our start angle is zero so we just click on enter the revolution angle is also 360 so we click on enter and by the time we go to our perspective here if i just hide these you can see that it gives us a very nice edge here very nice cover and if i just put this on rendered you can see that it's a nice edge so i'm just gonna hide take all my edges and put them in another arm another layer and then change up the layer so if i hide these just this is going to show of course there's still some edges like this that we don't want um but this is the difference between um modeling for rendering and modeling for building in 3d production so if you look closely at these edges you can see that some parts are a bit broken and in order to fix that we are just going to reduce this a little bit and see if we can create a sweep shape to fix up these two edges so we're going to go to the side where oh, we needed to have selected everything to do that so i'm going to select the entire top and reduce this a bit and then I'm also going to lift it a bit higher. Let's so you use your move tool. And then click on auto so it's straight. And just have this brought up a little bit higher. So the whole point is to make sure that these two edges connect really nicely. We're going to draw a a profile to go around these two these two edges. Um, we're going to go to our front plane and just connect these two. I want to make sure that you're also looking at where it's disable your project, obviously, and see where that connects on the screen so we have a nice nice curve there we're going to rebuild our curves or we might not need to there's a center line here okay we need to rebuild our curve so we're going to click on this curve and go to rebuild curve and we just want maybe about three points. Okay, we need to redo that. I'm going to go back to rebuild and click on six points. So now we have six points here. I'm going to click on these middle ones, move them inside so it's a more flexible. Actually, drag them to the top and these ones as well. Just want to make sure that the curve is flexible and it's going all the way to the top I'm going to adjust that as well I'm going to see where the seam is ok there it is I'm just going to check how it looks over here 
seems to be on the two two edges so we are going to sweep these two rails We're going to see if we can extract an isocurve from the surfaces so that we can click on this surface and extract one curve. So I'm just going to loft these two edges because I think that's the less complex way of doing things. Um, The next thing we're going to work on are the, is the bottom actually and we can go on any layer and just name this bottom and we really know that the mushroom comes this way so what we can do is just do one section and then array it in a circle um, from this point on the right here, one of them here, we need to take a point and just make sure that we're not coming too close to the center. We also want to make sure that we are drawing a straight line here so that all the lines are completely straight. I'm just going to trim this edge off quickly and just spread this so we know where our line stops. Um, now we're going to draw the pro 
profile of this from the top we can see that this is where this stops side we can take this to this layer so we can see the difference between the lines this stops here and this edge stops here so I'm just gonna draw this section quickly again you take your control point curve from the middle we can go trying to remove the projection try joining from this end and bringing it down I'm going to try and I'm going to mirror this alongside here. And see how that looks. Join these two. And then we have our real so we're going to sweep one wheel this is the wheel and this is our shape and then we'll gain back our mushroom head quickly So we're going to duplicate this round and what we want to do is come here and array our center will be zero and we want to see maybe 25 or we can start with 20. I'm going to fill with zero as well. As you can see it fills but doesn't quite and doesn't quite sort out some of the holes and this is what we're we're trying to achieve um so we do have to actually go back and redo the size so we'll quickly go back and 
undo all of this as well as our shape I'm going to take one of these and then bring this back a bit yeah for our sweep shape we are going to sharpen the edges because as you saw some of those edges are very sharp so we're just going to make sure that the edges are very very sharp putting this back just a bit and we'll see if that really covers everything the same thing again we're going to go to our surface sweep and wheel seems a bit sharp and I do like the way it curves out this time so we're going to take our item and just hurry from the center again zero the number of items this time can be changed to 35 just to see we see how it is this is looking better the only thing we notice is that there's some edges that are empty some parts here and we're trying to go for something like this again we might want to spread out the section so we spread this out take the edges again pull them back make sure that this point at the center is pulled back a lot these two are pulled to the front again go to our surface sweep on wheel I'm going to array this item and zero as our center. And then we're going to delete some of these ones because it doesn't do the job that we want it to do. like the center the only thing is that now these are crossing edges so what we can do is just trim the entire bottom part that is, is giving us an issue and I might just put this in rendered so we see where exactly the line cuts then let's go over in again with these little parts that are coming out on the edge so you have a clean a very clean base very nice and clean and just because we have this we might want to sort out the other parts that are empty over here so 
So I'm going to draw a section that runs through this part. And hopefully this section um, can give us the shape that we're looking for. Just going to select my last created object and do a revolve. And then I'm going to have zero as my So looking at this model, we can just scale this a bit more. First we're going to hide this, bring this down a bit. Until it kind of covers we want it to. to try widening the top and this bit also see if that kind of covers this area when you just increase that a little bit with this space. Yeah, that is good. Eyes closed nicely. Except this part, we can just 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 a little bit. Now we need to bring this part back to see if it covers. And yes, that is enough for us to close this portion of uh, the model. We can take this in just a little bit to see. Okay, that was a bit too hot. But what we can do is just slightly rotate this. So it's almost touching the end and just move it back a bit okay might have overdone it so I might just bring this back a little bit here and that really almost gives us what we want um i don't like where this is it's going anyway I'm going to just split this a bit around here so that's gone and bring back our lines to cut short the lines but first slightly adjust this a bit And this is the thing, the difference between modeling for production and modeling for 3D rendering. There are two different things that have to be treated differently. So, I do like how that is looking. And 
what we want to do now is just trim this ends off somewhere close to the end put our auto back on so we're going to trim all of this Now that that is done, we are going to just hide this here and group our creation quickly. We are now going to duplicate this. And take this to a new layer completely. Let's call it grouped. And now we can hide everything else when we only just have our bench mushroom here. Now we're going to play with the height just a little bit. Duplicate this a little bit. Actually, let's ungroup this first. And let's see if we can join them all together. Hmm, it's still separated so it's best we group them we're now going to duplicate this one more time and then begin to play with our mushroom i'm going to go to scale and see if we can scale it in one dimension pick the two bottoms and trying to scale the first one up can even widen this a bit to so spread across like that and do the same thing again Here we're going to see if we can deform this tool. So we take the start of the spine here and here and see if we can bend that just a little bit. Now mushroom is a bit to the side. Or we can start from the middle to the top and project it to the end but well, that gives us more of a sharp edge so you do it again from here to here but only to this just a little bit That way is not too pressed at the end and we scale this duplicate this and scale it and scale this 1d again from the top to the the, the, the bottom to the top a little bit so these ideally can be kept with one another inside one another and I can just rotate this so that they both fitting nicely with each other and then bring this as well to the center because at the end of the day what you want is really a cluster of these mushrooms
around. So now this is looking okay, but we just want some tiny bits here in the front. And what we're going to do is just duplicate this one in the front. And see if we can just deform this a bit. Before we do that, we'll just quickly really change our object layer to something where we can easily see. Okay, I think this is okay for now. So we'll take our pen tool again from the top to the bottom. We really want to come to 3D to see what that will look like. Okay, let's turn our auto off and try that again. nice and looking great so we're going to duplicate this so I also back and just take this to the end and we're just going to scale this down this into the center so we can really see what's going on let's move this out just a bit it's a bit wide on this front so we might just squeeze this a bit yeah, that looks more realistic. Push this a bit out further. And I do like the way this is looking, so I might just array this. I choose zero as my center. And I'm going to choose three. And then move this to, to the sections of this area and then move this as well to the bottom parts of this area and I'm just going to hide this because I don't need this anymore and there you have it but then you now start trying to, to texture and be right back so i quickly assigned um texture to this and i'm just going to render it in another software 